Phil Cheatham, the 3D guy from AMM and TPI. PJ, I'm going to do a quick video analysis of your swing that we did in 3D. But first I'm going to show you a little bit about the kinematic sequence, give you a, a quick introduction again. Um, here we have an efficient kinematic sequence, so I'll play the swing. You can see between this point and this point, which is top of backswing and impact, how the hip rotation speed, the red curve, increases then decreases. The green curve being the upper body or rib cage rotation speed, you can see how it increases and decreases. The same with the blue, which is actually the lead upper arm swing speed. And finally the brown, which is the club shaft swing speed. The important thing to note is how smooth these four curves actually are. You can see this one peaking first, this one peaking second, and this one peaking third. Finally, the club shaft peaking um, just at impact. So we want to see a nice sequence of smooth motions with the pelvis accelerating, decelerating, hitting its peak first, followed by the upper body, followed by the lead arm, and followed by the club shaft. So the club shaft peaks right at impact. Now, let's go and have a look at yours. So here is yours. And you can see, let's rewind it and start it playing again. And you can see how you don't have that smooth acceleration, deceleration action. So, in fact, we have a bit of an inefficient kinematic sequence here. There's no deceleration of your pelvis, no deceleration of your upper body. Your arm actually decelerates before all of those guys get a chance to. And the brown one, which is the club shaft, just accelerates very rapidly all by itself. This is a classic example of casting the club. Let me just play it again from the front view. Um, so there is a bit of an inefficient kinematic sequence here, and uh, that will not allow you to hit the ball in the way that you wish to. So what were the main issues that we found? Well, when we did our 3D screen, or our, our physical screen, excuse me, we found that you had very difficult problems balancing on either your left or your right leg. Uh, very unstable. We found also that you had problems moving your pelvis um, in a pelvic tilt drill, a tilt exercise, and also some issues with the rotations. So basically it was a stability issue. Now if we um, change the graph and we look at your pelvis positions, we also see sway and slide of your pelvis. The red curve here is how much you're moving side to side towards the target and away from the target we see that you start to move towards the target as it goes positive, but then it moves backwards away. So this tells me that you're actually hanging back, and in fact, after impact, you can see that you fall backwards or hang backwards significantly. We believe that this is related to the balance issue. You have problems getting over onto the left side, and uh, so we recommend that you work with somebody who can improve your balance and stability and then after that we can then come back and look at the casting movement but first things first lower body stability to teach you to get over onto that lead side uh, that's about it for now good luck